harvest time in the wheat fields of eastern Afghanistan. And as has been the practice for generations, the men and boys here will gather the crop by hand. About 150 kilometers away, at Kabul University, students have come to learn more modern methods of farming, with help from an American. On this day, they are learning how to move animals without causing stress. If we want to restrain the sheep, you need somebody to hold the back of the head and under the chin. Right? Hold on to the back of the head. Sophia Wilcox has been here more than a year, from Purdue University in the United States, part of a five-year collaboration. We're working here to improve the efficiency and the production, modernize some of the skills and technology so that these students can go on and build a much stronger foundation for agriculture in Afghanistan. Classroom study has been upgraded to include modern biology and science. In the second year, students do practical work in the fields and with the animals. They say they know that things need to change if their country wants to be competitive. In Afghanistan, most of the agricultural work is being done by hand. If we want to export to foreign countries, we should modernize the way we work. This student farm at Kabul University is home to sheep and chickens, including an imported American chicken breed, the Leghorn. Future lessons will include working with honeybees, cows and fish. The students say the addition of international professors has been invaluable. Because Afghanistan is an agricultural country, it needs these lessons. 85% of people's income comes from agriculture and the whole economy of, of Afghanistan is not industrialized as much as it is agriculture and agricultural products. The faculty says even the improved university program does not attract as many students as other subjects, like law and journalism. Agriculture professor Iwas Khan says that needs to change. People should pay attention to this faculty too because Afghanistan is an agricultural country. We have to encourage people to join this program. Back in the wheat fields, there have been some recent improvements. Two years ago, a thresher was added to the harvesting process. But farmer Golam Nabi says there are not many machines like this in Afghanistan. The government does not help us get machinery. It does give us some seeds, but not enough. Nabi says he would like more government support to buy tractors and other equipment. He says he knows introducing modern farming methods is the best way to make Afghanistan's golden wheat fields profitable. Jennifer Glass for VOA News, Kabul.